Um, here I am sitting in my house, in my dining room. It's I'm recording this. Um, it's not long until it's time for the 7th Annual Martial Arts Studies Conference, which is in Lausanne and Geneva in Switzerland. Uh, I'm recording this um, in advance of that. Um, just to sort of explain what's going on with the podcast and what will be going on soon. So um, I'm hoping that when I get to the conference, I will be able to sit and interview people in real time, in a real place, face to face, um, and record them and then have lots of extra episodes for the podcast, um, which will be fabulous, really, after so long recording things over zoom um and or just recording lectures and things like this it'll be great to, to finally be back in a in a conference face to face with real people old friends new colleagues and new friends um so i'm gonna th this will be i'll post this before the conference so this this um, podcast episode will be up before the conference and then um there might be a gap in the in the, the podcasting schedule because I might take a break um for a little while after the conference because we've we've achieved a lot of stuff really uh, recently we've just this week published episode 12 of the journal martial arts studies this is a, a special themed issue on martial arts or martiality is the term they prefer religion and spirituality and it's actually the proceedings from the, the the conference that we were supposed to have in Marseille, um, but that was um, went online because of the pandemic. And it's taken a while because of everyone being busy. It's really hard to get things done. It's been hard for me because I took on a new role as deputy head of school, which smashed into my time. It really, really, really did. Um, it's one of the reasons why I haven't been interviewing people for a while either because there's just not enough hours in the day. So I'm really pleased that the special issue, issue 12 of Martial Arts Studies is online for free. It's on Cardiff University Press. The website is something like mas.cardiffuniversitypress.org. That's the journal website. It's all free. You can access it all there. It's all peer reviewed, um, as things should be. So that we finished that. I've just finished working with a team, um, Daniel Jacquet in Switzerland, and uh, a new designer, uh, one of our PhD students called Lucy, uh, on the conference brochure. That's the conference schedule. It's all information uh, about the conference. So we've just finished working on that. I've just uploaded a copy of that to um, the Martial Arts Studies Research Network website, which is mastudiesrn.org. So you can download it there. So the, the idea is that we do a nice conference brochure with the schedule, with links to all the talks. So we're not going to print out lots of information. When people get to the conference, there'll be an information sheet of about four sides of information with QR codes, and they can they can scan through to the full programme with all the information, with all links galore to abstracts and, and, and contributor notes and everything. So we're going to save on printing and also the programme will be online. It looks rather beautiful. I'm very pleased with Lucy's work. Um, so the conference um, programme looks amazing. So we get there and then we begin on Wednesday the 29th of June in the afternoon with a keynote given by Benjamin Judkins, my my co-editor on martial arts studies. Then we go into panels, Kung Fu film histories, globalised movements, social contexts, fencing in late medieval towns. Then another keynote by Marjolin Van Bavel, um, Mexican women in Luca Libra wrestling. Um, then a welcome reception at the Olympic Museum in Lausanne, which is I'm really excited about that. I've never been to Lausanne or Geneva. I've been to Switzerland, but I've never been um, to these places, it looks like it's going to be fabulous. And then on Thursday, we've got a full day. We start at nine. The keynote from Sven Kerner. We do bad things to bad people. Then we have panels through the day, 
covering all things East Asian martial arts, um, historically European martial arts, sport martial arts, all sorts. All the way through the day till we get to a keynote um, by Lauren Steimer, who um, I've interviewed on this on this podcast more than once. Um, really, really interesting scholar. Be great to see Lauren again. And she um, will be looking at the interdisciplinary nexus of martial arts studies research. She'll be looking at stunt workers um, and, and uh, martial arts in that context. And then afterwards, um, Daniel has organised uh, martial arts demonstrations and free sparring at the, the sports centre. So that'll be really good. I asked Daniel about, um, I said, will there be, will there be washing, showering facilities? Because, you know, if, 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 I, if we're rolling, if we're doing jujitsu or something, then you're going to work up a sweat. You can't just go from there to the pub or whatever. You need to be considerate of those around you. <laughs> and he said, well, I hadn't really thought about that. We'll just jump in the lake. He said, I normally just jump in the lake. I said, okay, so we need to bring towels then and maybe a change of clothes. He said, oh, I just I swim naked. So we shall see how that goes down. Um, um, I've never been skinny dipping before, really. So we'll see. Then Friday, we, we start with panels all the way through to a keynote um, later on, actually mid-afternoon. Uh, that's Mario Staller um, right, uh, talking about the primacy of badassness. Um, and then we have a gala dinner at somewhere called Chalet Suisse, so that, that would be very nice. Then the end of the conference is Saturday the 2nd of July. Um, we're going to have round tables to, to debate topics um, um, in the morning, and then I will be giving a, a, a keynote at the, at the Confucius Institute in Chambassy, in, uh, just near Geneva, just outside of, of Geneva. Uh, my title is Individual Practice in a Global Frame, From Asia Mania and Euro Taoism to Conspirituality. Um, and I'll be talking about uh, lots of things, including, <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't do this, this is a kiss of death. I don't know what I'm inviting into my life by doing this, but including Gwyneth Paltrow and Joe Rogan. Um, so yeah, we shall see how this all goes down. Then after that, another martial arts demonstration and closing ceremony and uh, there'll be more sparring there if, if, if uh, anyone is interested, which I am, I'm always interested. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. I'll post this, this podcast before the conference. What I, what I might also do is um, do a dry run of my paper, I might kind of do a rehearsal. I might record a rehearsal of my keynote with a green screen and, and put the slides and things behind me and then to put that as a podcast episode. Um, so that will pr probably come out after the conference um, has finished. That might come out early July. Um, but after that, I might take a little bit of time away from this. You never know. I might be really fired up. I might quickly be, um, you know, editing and organizing the interviews that I've um, had with people, the conversations I've had, and there might be, be no break in, in podcasting. There might be some break. I might have a summer break. Um, and also, hopefully, um, the conference hosts in, in Lausanne and Geneva will be also audio and video recording, at least the keynotes. So it'd be cool if I get some interviews with the keynotes, um, not necessarily including myself, but conversations with all the other keynotes. And so we can podcast their keynotes and also at a different time podcast the conversation about their keynotes, interview conversation with them. Um, so that would be cool. And other people who, who seem interesting. Obviously, I don't know how busy I'm going to be as a co-organiser, as someone who, you know, I'll be in the panels listening to things, I'll be chairing things realistically don't know how much time I will have to be sitting down in a quiet room or a, maybe a bar with individual people and recording um, podcast conversations. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully I'll get at least one a day, but I will be immersed in the conference itself. Um, so we shall just have to see how it all plays out. Um, so yeah, so this is a placeholding 
um, podcast episode. If you want to download a copy of the conference brochure, the conference schedule, um, with all of the information, you can find it at the Martial Arts Studies Research Network website under the, the if you click on activity and click on the conferences and click on 7th annual conference, you'll be able to download a copy from there. So if you go to mastudiesrn.org, you download a copy. There'll also be copies on the official website. Um, and you can click on all the links to further information about all of the um, all of the speakers and all of the papers. I've put the, the the titles and abstracts and everything on my old blog, which is uh, something like martial arts studies at blogspot dot whatever. It's, you know, blogspot. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, and I'm really excited about the conference. I hope that some of the people who listen to this, uh, I get to meet you at the conference. Um, and yeah, very excited. And I'll be back soon. All right. Cheers. Bye.